Okay, so welcome to the conference. Welcome to EuroPython 2020. This is our 19th EuroPython conference. Uh, we've come a long way. It's the first time we're doing this online, but we still sold over 1,000 tickets. We have way more people from different countries. We have 69 countries represented in the audience now, which is, I think, extremely diverse, and it's really a worldwide kind of conference. We are uh, up 40 countries compared to last year when we had the in-person conference. So this is really exciting. We'd also especially want to welcome all the new Europythonistas. So if this is your first Europython, then uh, we really like to invite you to enjoy the conference. And we're a bit sorry that it's, it's online, it's not in-person, but maybe that's actually a chance for you to, to join the conference more easily. Uh, we'd like to ask all the regulars, people who have joined EuroPython the previous years, to, to help all the newcomers and, and, you know, make them feel at home. Because this is, this is your conference, right? Um, the conference is basically what you make it. We can provide the framing, we can provide the technology, we can do some moderation. But that's, that's it. Uh, everything else is basically coming from the attendees. And so we're one big family. So I would like to ask everyone to, to uh, help everyone else. We'd also welcome our sponsors. Actually, um, <laughs> I think I just did a mistake here. Because the screen sharing isn't advancing to the next slide. We'd also like to advance our spons uh, like to welcome our sponsors. So without the sponsors, the the EuroPython conference wouldn't be as affordable as it is. And we very much appreciate their help in making this happen. Uh, we have a sponsor exhibit on Discord, which, uh, similarly to what how we run the tracks, links to the different Zoom rooms that we have for the sponsors. So I would really like to ask you to stop by and on Discord and then also maybe chat with uh, the sponsors using their Zoom rooms. Uh, they have lots of uh, interesting swag, lots of interesting topis topics to discuss, um, and it's certainly uh, worth having a chat with them. So thank you very much uh, for the sponsors and uh, let me maybe play a bit of an applause here. All this has to happen virtually, of course. <laughs> Which for, for me, it's a bit strange because I'm, you know, used to talking in front of many, many people and I can see their reactions right now. I basically, I just have to talk into the webcam. It feels a bit strange. Um, of course, we, we miss Dublin, right? We wanted to do the conference in Dublin. Uh, we What we decided is to postpone the conference in Dublin to next year. So we already have dates for next year. You can um, record the, the dates already. Uh, when we're ready to start ticket sales, of course, we'll let you know. Uh, it's basically the same week next year, last week of uh, July. And we really hope to see lots of you in Dublin next year. Well, hopefully it can happen next year. Well, we don't know about how COVID-19 developed, um, which is the main cause for doing this online. Uh, in, in March, we were basically set up to start the conference, to start the ticket sales for Dublin. So we had everything set up and then COVID-19 got, uh, you know, in the way. We had to cancel the event in Dublin because it wouldn't have been possible for, for many people to attend. Uh, it wasn't clear at that time whether we could actually run the event because it's a fairly large event. And so we decided to then do things online. I have a, a talk about this tomorrow where I will go into more detail about these things. Uh, and then you can also ask questions. Doing this online is, of course, a huge challenge and it was a lot of uh, hard work for us. We took four months to get everything set up to work everything out. Uh, but we had a or we still have a very fantastic team of volunteers helping us with this. Uh, and I'd like to show you a collage of all the, the pictures that we got from the volunteers. Uh, not all of them are on this collage. We didn't get all the, the pictures in time, but uh, this is basically, this is our team. This, these are the people running the conference for you. So um, I think, again, they deserve a big applause. So let's play an applause here. Applause 
The EuroPython conference, as you might know, is backed by the EuroPython Society, uh, which is a non-profit organization registered in Sweden. We've run EuroPython for many years now. It's entirely uh, volunteer-driven, so no one gets paid for what we're doing here. Um, everything is basically done to support the EuroPython uh, the European Python community. We give out grants to conferences, other conferences and projects. So uh, all the proceeds from the conference go to that purpose. Um, everything is basically respent in form of grants. So how will we run the conference? EuroPython 2020 online is going to have to be run on a platform, of course. We chose Discord for this because it uh, offers you all the, the tooling that we need for running the conference. Uh, Discord is mainly a chat platform. You can also use it for audio, but we're not really uh, doing that much. We uh, do put all the links on Discord and the links then go to Zoom and YouTube um, for running everything in the audio visual and you know have more interactivity what we do is we use zoom the zoom webinars for the main tracks and zoom rooms for everything else and we also stream the the webinars the tracks the four main tracks to youtube so can you watch those there as well so how does it work i just want to give you a very very brief introduction so uh, what you see on the right here this is the discord window um you see and on the left part you see lots of channels on the right part you see all the people that are online at the moment we have several different categories in here like i mentioned we have a sponsor exhibit uh, which i would like to point you to but we also have other categories for the conference tracks for the sprints uh, we have created what we call breakout rooms so we have one channel per talk that we are going to have at the conference and uh, that Th those talk channels can be used by the speakers to provide additional information and of course for you to to ask questions in addition to the questions that you can ask right after the session in the q a there are a couple of things uh, i wanted to mention about discord um, one is that which may not necessarily be obvious to people new to discord you can click on the uh, on the titles of the channels the titles are I don't know if you can see my mouse pointer, but it it's uh, it says welcome here. So the if you click on this welcome, then um, well not in in welcome it doesn't actually show. But if you if you go to the main tracks, for example, you can then see all the links to Zoom, to YouTube, and all the other links that we put in there. So that's a very easy way to to go to all the sessions um, because we have quite a few channels on Discord. It's, uh, it's a good idea to have a quick search. Control K gives you that quick search, so you can just type Control K and then you go immediately into the, into the search. Um, because we're going to have lots of notifications on Discord, uh, I just wanted to mention that you can mute categories. So if you right click on a category, then it has this mute category setting and you can, uh, you can uh, click that to have less notifications. Very important I want to mention is that we would like to ask you not to share the links that we have on Discord outside the conference. So we want to avoid having spammers enter, for example, the Zoom rooms and the Zoom webinars. And we also want to uh, keep the YouTube uh, channel links um, just within the conference because the, the YouTube links are unprotected. And so, uh, you know, lots of people have uh, paid for the for the ticket uh, actually most people and the uh, we want to you know give the advantage of, of the the paid tickets to the the person who the persons who can who have paid and not necessarily make things available outside you can use the YouTube uh, channel for um, going back in history Um, but I'm going to come to that later on. So this is a, a screenshot of a typical Zoom webinar and the Zoom room. So they look uh, very similar. We're using the webinars for the for the tracks that have lots of people on. Uh, we're using the rooms for all the smaller ones. Zoom is very easy to use. It's very easy to, to get um, acquainted with. Um, as an attendee, you can use 
the um, the raise hand feature, for example, there are some features in in the panel uh, where you can give some feedback. Um, in the Zoom rooms, you can also, if the if the host allow, you can also use uh, video and audio uh, if the host permits this. Um, the YouTube streaming, like I said, is mostly we're mostly doing that to give you a, a way to replay past sessions. So it has this nice feature that you can, there's a scroll bar at the bottom where you can go and then you can uh, go back in time. So if you miss a session, maybe you can only watch uh, one, one track uh, at a time, then you can go back and then replay that session. This is only available for the main tracks though. Right, then we also have a conference back. Of course it's digital because everything is digital this year. Um, this is a, uh, a page on the website which has a secret link. We're going to post that to Discord in a bit. You can get uh, coupon codes there, drop offers, lots of free stuff. Uh, all the, sp the sponsors have posted something there. So it's definitely something worth uh, checking out. For the program, we have a number of keynotes, five keynotes in total. So we have a keynote from Guido. He's going to do a Q&A. We have Naomi. Uh, she was the, uh, the f or she is the former chair of the Python Software Foundation. We have Sidar, Jessica McKellar, who you probably know as well, and Alejandro. Uh, the first keynote uh, is going to be Sidar Ganju. Um, we are still having a bit of an issue finding her, um, but let's see how that goes. I hope she can join in time. Then we have, uh, of course, all the events. We have talks, we have poster sessions, we have a complete data science track. So if you're interested in data science, we have tried to put all the talks that are data science related into the Parrot track. So you can stay in that one track, but of other talks um, in, in other on other um, channels are data science related as well very often because nowadays you know, lots of things are happening in data science. We have an open space. Open space is uh, something that where you can self-organize. Uh, we have a hallway session. The hallway session is of course just a chat uh, on Discord. There's a hallway chat for this. We have a recruitment session in case you're looking for a job and we have sprints on the weekend. bit more about open spaces. Open spaces are entirely self-organized. These are basically sessions that you organize and run. Uh, we will have a schedule on Discord uh, in form of a Google Sheet where you can then register and then uh, you can you can you know reserve a slot for you and then if you enter those uh, rooms then you can ask one of the organizers to make you a co-host in those rooms and then you can run your sessions. We have two of these rooms um, so if you have something to talk about, you can go there. We also have lightning talks, uh, something very, you know, interesting, very funny usually. Uh, these are five minute talks. If you don't know uh, what a lightning talk is, you can sign up for these on the Google Sheet. We'll announce on Discord. We're going to have one of these sheets per day and it's first come, first serve on these Google Sheets. So if you uh, manage to get a slot, then you're lucky because they usually sign up very, very quickly. We're going to put these online, I think, after the uh, keynote and the same tomorrow. Right, and then we have a social event and an after party. Uh, one is tonight, rather late, it's at, it starts at 10 after the keynote. And then we have an after party tomorrow after the closing session. Uh, we're going to have games, we're going to have music, uh, we can play board games, basically whatever you come up with. We have a f a planned a few things, but uh, we are pretty open to anything that you might want to suggest. This is going to be done interactive, so uh, let's see how that goes, doing something like a social event or after party online. We have a code of conduct, of course, uh, so in very short terms, uh, it's be nice to each other, so be helpful, you know, be gentle on everyone. Everyone in wants to enjoy the conference, uh, wants to, you know, be appreciated. Uh, we also ask to be, be professional and also to don't spam. This is particularly uh, for, the, for, for sponsors or for companies joining the event, not as a sponsor. 
this applies to the whole event. If you have a code of conduct issue, then you can go to the contact page that we have on the website. You can contact us individually or you can on Discord, you can mention at COC and then we will see that and then we can uh, talk to you or you can just you know talk to one of the organizers to put you in touch with us. Um, the people in charge are Valeria, Sylvia, Anders and myself for the Code of Conduct team. Right and that's all I wanted to say so enjoy the conference and um, now I have to see what my room manager has to say. Okay, I'm back again. Sorry for, uh, you know, being muted. I was talking to the room manager. So originally the plan was to have uh, Sida uh, give a keynote mm. now, but um, very unfortunately she has not yet shown up. And um, I'm afraid we will have to skip this keynote. Of course, this is not ideal because it's the first, um, the first talk of the conference. <laughs> But we tried everything. We tried reaching her. She, it wasn't uh, it wasn't possible. So maybe uh, there's something got in the way. Um, I think what we can do now is uh, basically just uh, wait. Uh, you can get acquainted with uh, Discord, and um, actually perhaps we can use uh, this session to to help you a bit with Discord. So if you have questions about Discord, uh, please write into the Q and A. And then uh, we can try to answer those. So there's one question in here, for example, um, from um, from Simon or or Skymon. I can't really pronounce this. So sorry. Uh, it says, is it okay to share YouTube links after the conference is over? So what we're going to do there is we are going to um, we are going to have cut videos after the conference. Uh, we're going to have a company do those and it's going to take a few weeks to, to have them online. And uh, then you can share those uh, links after the conference. Uh, we are going to have to see whether you can share the um, the the archives are going to be created for the YouTube streams right after the conference as well. It's rather likely that we're going to do that, um, and then perhaps you know one of the community members goes in and and as temporary measure creates one of these sheets where you can then directly jump into the into the uh, streams. So um, that's uh, what we're going to do. Let me th see what else we have. How many countries are represented at EuroPython? Like I said in the introduction, uh, we uh, well yesterday we had uh, 69 countries represented, which is 40 countries more than last year. So I think that's a very good sign that this online format actually does give us uh, more reach and it makes it possible for, for many more people to actually attend the conference. 
this is very nice of course we're very happy about this we're also very happy that we have over uh, over 1000 uh, ticket registrations for the conference both for the conference and sprints so um, this has been uh, a really good success <laughs> So it says here, please Mark, explain that the Q&A are being held in the Zoom app. Ah, right. For people on YouTube, of course, you cannot uh, enter any questions. If you want to enter questions, you have to join the Zoom session in order to be able to um, put questions there and then have them answered. Okay, let me see. What else do we have? Everyone appreciates our effort. That's very nice. Thank you very much. So someone is suggesting here that um, if you have a second screen, it may be useful to open the Discord track. Uh, yes, that's certainly a, a good way to set up your your uh, gear. If you have a second screen, then you can have the webinar open on one screen and the Discord open on the other one. Um, for these online conferences, it's, it's usually a very good idea to have lots of uh, screens. So if you have two screens, that's that's very good already. If you have three screens, that's even better. Another question, will the passwords for the Zoom conference change over time or remain the same all along? So for the for the uh, Zoom webinars and the rooms, everything is going to stay the same. Uh, the YouTube links, though, they are going to change tomorrow because you can only stream for one day. And then we're tomorrow we're going to update the links on, Zoom, uh, on YouTube f to the new ones. Uh, can you show some pause video with audio in the pause so we get less questions? Yes, uh, we are going to try to do that. Uh, we need to figure out uh, whether um, we can make that happen because in order to show a video, someone has to be running it. And because Zoom works by using screen sharing, um, that could get in the way of, uh, you know, the organizer doing other things. So we're not sure whether we can actually do that. Uh, but let's see how it goes. Okay, any other questions? Right, Paola asked that we thank all the, the people involved in the event. Yes, I already did that in the opening session. So uh, maybe I can I can just share this the the slide again. Uh, let me just do that. Share the screen. So these are all the people. Um, all the people for whom we have. We have photos. There are actually a few more people. The team is um, is bigger than than usual. Uh, the, the team we had to grow the team a lot in order to make the online conference happen. It's uh, a major ever effort pulling off one of these online conferences. It's not something that you can do by using using just the, you know the the six people that we are in the EuroPython board. And we thank this team really a lot. We appreciate their work, uh, everything they did. But like someone else said, this is actually for the closing session. So um, yeah, I'm just going to show this and keep this uh, slide open. Okay, there's a question about the logo. So the logo uh, up here uh, I can explain a bit. This is actually the logo that was designed for the Dublin event, and this is uh, because we always try to make make the the logo represent what we do 
um, at the conference and where we have the conference. So the clover there is uh, something very typical of, of Ireland. Um, the harp that you see there is also something very typical for Ireland and the designer chose these two elements to then you know represent Dublin. And we all think it's a, it's a very, very nice logo and that's why we kept it for the online event as well. Also, you know, a bit in recognition of that we wanted to do everything in Dublin. We're going to keep that uh, logo for next year uh, as well. So essentially all the, the just the, the time and the, the, the location is going to change. Um, there's a question here about talks live or pre-recorded. We are going to try to have all the talks live um, and not pre-recorded. Of course, we, we can use pre-recorded sessions uh, in case the, there's a problem with the internet connection, but we'd like to have all the speakers actually talk live because, you know, this is supposed to be a live conference. We want to have this interactivity um, and that's why we uh, we basically told all the speakers that uh, we want to have them speak live. Let me try to find some more questions. Okay, there's one question about clicking on the Discord uh, channel name. So maybe I can just share my Discord and show you. So what I meant with that is that, for example, you go to the, say you want to go to the conference tracks here, and you want to go to this track. Then what you do here is you click on the track first, and then up here there's a title bar. And in this title bar, we have uh, all the, the links and you can click on that and then a dialog opens up and you can you can see all the links you can click on them here okay, what else do we have Okay, so there's a question about how we set up things for, for the conference. Um, I'm going to talk about that tomorrow, but I can also mention right now that uh, we, we, we chose Zoom. We test a lot of different systems and we chose Zoom because it's both easy to use for the attendees and it's also scalable for us. Uh, we had to scale up a lot for, these for, for the conference because we will typically have lots of people joining the events and that's why we use the webinar setup um for this for for the main tracks and then the the rooms the zoom rooms they can have up to 300 people in the rooms um so that's that's a very nice uh you know way of of working with an on online conference system uh, we did not have to have a, a special setup uh, it was just the standard packages so there was nothing extra it's just that you need to you know buy the right things what will happen with the Discord server after the conference? Um, after the conference, we are going to uh, leave the Zoom, uh, the Discord server um, open so that all the resources that get shared, and especially in the talk breakout rooms, we're going to leave those in place to serve as a reference. Uh, we are thinking about maybe ha using Discord next year as well for the in-person event, but we haven't decided that yet. Question, Sitter, is Sitter going to record her keynote session offline later? Uh, actually, that's a good, a good uh, idea. So I think we, uh, we can ask her to do that and then maybe we can share the, the YouTube link uh, later on so that you can then go back and then see that uh, keynote as well. The lightning talks, uh, Ben asked whether how the lightning talks are going to work today. Um, this proposals can be submitted or will be able you will be able to submit them once we have the Google form uh, on Discord. I don't know whether it's been posted yet, but it should appear somewhere in here in the announcements. 
Um, so this is the announcement channel where you can then uh, you know get to know about things that we have to that we want to announce to everyone. Uh, the way that works is that you go to a Google Sheet, you sign up, uh, you know, very much like for the in-person event where you just you put your name, you put the title, and uh, then we have a number of slots available. And then after all the slots are filled, it's filled, and then uh, you can try again next next day. The session is later today. Um, next question: Do you have some? Live tools providing help to disable people along with subtitled sign language. We unfortunately we don't have any uh, additional tools available to help disable people like subtitles or uh, sign language. The um, there there are some some uh, things that we could uh, use on on YouTube. Um, I think YouTube can enable uh, subtitles, but only if, you know after after the talks have actually been processed by YouTube. I don't know how good they are, the subtitles. Uh, we have not uh, tried to get this working with Zoom. They added this feature uh, in the in the last few months, but I don't know how well it works, so we decided to, uh, to not try it out, not, not have it working. Um, right, any other questions? There's a question here for the poster. Zoom sessions are these sort of drop in when you can and interact with the poster presenter. Um, the poster sessions are scheduled, so we will have the poster speaker available in those uh, slots, and then you can just right, you can just go into that Zoom session, and then you can ask the, sp the uh, speaker anything about their poster. The posters are available on the website. Um, and uh, you can have a you have a preview that you can have a look at and uh, if you click on the the preview image you get a PDF file and then of course you can you can you know look at the PDF and then you can ask questions to this to the speaker that's available in that zoom session it will also be possible to um, ask additional questions after that session is ended uh, by simply going to the appropriate breakout room that we have for the posters you can find a category on on Discord for this, and you can ask additional questions there. And we ask all the, the poster presenters to also be there. Also, the all the people uh, having a talk, we also ask them to to um, be available in those chats so that they can answer ac additional questions. Okay, another question: What will the virtual social event look like? That's actually a very good question. <laughs> we don't know ourselves, so we're just gonna. We're just going to uh, open up things um, and you know invite all of you to the to the session, and then we will see how it goes. So we have planned a few games that uh, we will run. Uh, we also have some music to play that was contributed. If you want to play music, then you're you're more than welcome. Just let us know. We can set that up. Um, we also have we can also have you know breakout rooms where you can then maybe played board games or uh, you can show off uh, you know things that you want to maybe show off we can also do virtual reality room things uh, this is a bit up to you of what you want to do at the social event okay any other questions It says here that uh, someone didn't have to enter the ID and password for the Zoom webinar. You just it just had to enter the name and email. That is correct. Um, if you click on the link, the link actually has the ID and the password built in. And this is also why we ask you not to share those link outside. Um, once you click on the link, you can immediately join.
Um, another question, seats for the sprints limited. Um, actually, no, they're not limited. It's the, the only challenge that we have, or maybe it's not a challenge, I don't, we don't know yet. We, we have a, we, last I looked, we had 13 sprint teams who set up their, uh, the sprint on the sprint page that we have. And um, the challenge of uh, sort of uh, that we have is that uh, we will, you know, need to assign all the sprinters that we have to those teams. And we have way more sprinters than we have sprint teams. Uh, so if you have some idea to, to hold additional sprints, then please head over to the sprints page and register your sprint there. And please also let the organizers know so that they can set up a sprint channel for you uh, on Discord. And then we can have more teams, right? So we have plenty of space available. We have plenty of, um, of uh, these uh, Zoom licenses that we are going to use for, for having uh, Zoom rooms associated with the sprint teams. The sprint teams don't have to use Zoom. They can also use Discord audio channels for that. So we can scale up to quite a number of these teams. Okay, let me just check with my room manager. I'm just going to mute for a second. Just so Okay, so what you just saw is uh, me unmuting in Discord and then talking to my room manager. That's how we operate. Um, right, so uh, I have a few minutes uh, left uh, that I can fill with answering additional questions. So let me just have a uh, just have a look at if there is anything else. I think those are all the questions. Let me just scroll down a bit. Oh, there's a question here. Is it possible to bookmark the channels in Discord in order to find them quickly? Um, that's actually a question I cannot answer because I'm not familiar enough, enough with Discord to be able to answer that. You can ask uh, Jason, though, one of the organizers. He's the expert for Discord. And perhaps he has an answer to that one. Uh, then another question here is a bit disappointing for that even few days before some stuff in the merch shop has been unavailable. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that uh, the merch shop will fill up the extra t-shirts again, but because everything is run by Spreadshirt, we don't have any influence on, on that one. So um, I'm, I'm sorry about that. You just have to try again, maybe in a few days or... Um, maybe next week. Another question. The first talk, 30 golden rules of deep learning performance will be in this Zoom session. Yes. We're going to have a, a short break after the, after the well, what was supposed to be the keynote where I just you know, filled with the Q&A for Discord. Um, and we're going to head on and continue with the regular schedule.
Okay, I think um, we've gone through most of the questions. Uh, thank you very much again for joining the, the conference and um, I hope you, you're going to have a great time. Um, I'm going to stop the screen sharing now and then we will have the break. You can uh, mingle in the hallway on Discord and then we will uh, see each other again for the next session here on, on the webinar the 30 um, uh, what was the talk title again I forgot um, uh, the the next talk and uh, then yeah let's proceed like that thank you very much bye bye <laughs>